Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I want to do a video here today with Alyssa Del Carlo on the left and uh, George Springer from the Astros on the right. If you're not familiar with both these players, Alyssa Del Carlo, pull up her stats from Georgia Softball. Just amazing stats. George Springer on the right from uh, the Astros World Series team. Uh, just awesome, just awesome player as well. Both of these players uh, are just tremendous. Now, I want to do this video here today to show you what's going on with both their swings. And my purpose for my video it's always to help to educate my audience, to give them information that will hopefully take them to a different level. For coaches watching this video, things that you can learn from what I teach in order for you to help your players to become better. So let's get started here. Now, this video is going to pertain to more about shallowing the bat. Now, what is shallowing the bat? I'm going to explain that to you. Now, what you see here with Alyssa Del Carlo, and I'm going to go get into detail about what's going on here, okay? Both of these players right now are pretty much at the apex of the gather. So what you should see at the apex of the gather and uh, with both these players, they just do it beautifully. The hand should pretty much be right over the back foot, okay? And you can see here with George Springer, you're going to see with his hands, they're going to uh, pretty much at the apex of the gather, they're going to be right over his back foot. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this. When you reach the apex of the gather, the hands might change depending on the style of the player, but you pretty much, at, when you're at toe touch, you pretty much want to be right around the armpit area, whether the hands drop or get a little higher, but still remain over your back foot and the reason being is this, this is going to help you to allow you to shallow the bat better and I'm going to get into more detail as we get get further and not only that by having the hands by the height of the armpit it's going to allow you to have a better hand path to the ball when your hands are too high players tend to get too steep going down and if your hands are way too low you can have a problem hitting balls that are a little high okay so as we go further here, watch what's going on with Alyssa. And the thing that I want you to keep in mind is this. Now, you're going to see here that at this stage of the swing here, she has quite a bit of flexion in her hands. Now, what you're going to see here with her is she starts to get into her toe touch. Now, this is kind of her own little style, the way she moves her body. She doesn't really lift her leg much. She just kind of just transfers her weight, which is fine. But the thing that you see here, as she gets into her toe touch, you're going to see that she basically has maintained that flexion in her lead arm where what should happen in order to get better shallowing of the bat what you see in the elite players and again can you get away with this if you're not doing it yes you can but I'm just here to help you to maximize your full potential as a player to use your body in the most efficient way to hit more pitches with more power more effectively Okay, so what you saw here is what's going on with Alyssa. Again, pay attention to what's going on. Basically, she's at the apex of her gather right here, and all she's basically doing is transferring that flexion with her. You can see that her hands are kind of going forward with her, okay, instead of staying back. Now, when you do that, what happens is this. Now, watch what's going on here with her swing real quick. I'm going to go to George in a second. But when you do that and you don't leave your hands back, you don't apply the proper walk away from the hands with the correct resistance, players tend to kind of let their hands go across their body like this. How you see right now with Alyssa, you can see how her hands are kind of cutting across her body, uh, cutting across her body right here. In other words, you can see her shoulders are right here, and that cutting across is going inside of her deltoid, okay? And I'm going to get into that a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you what happens when you kind of carry, again, watch again what's going on. Her hands right here at the apex of the gather, beautiful job, but instead of leaving her hands back, she kind of leaves that flexion there, carries her hands, and tra just transfers everything to her upper body all the way up to or heel plan instead of walking away from the hands. Now, okay, now we see George here at the apex of his gather, okay? Now, watch what's going on with him. This is what should occur in order to shallow the bat correctly. Now, as he starts to get into his toe touch, his hands start to drop, but you're going to see that his hands stay back. Now, Again, just like I did with Alyssa, watch what's going on right here. You can see here that George has quite a bit of flexion in his arm at this stage of the swing. Now, as he starts to get into his toe touch, watch how he kind of drops his hands, but he's going to leave his hands there as he gets into his toe touch, and you're going to see that there's going to be a different look than you see with Alyssa as he gets into his toe touch, okay? And this is what should occur in an elite swing. So now, George is at 
a at his toe touch, okay? Now, again, can Alyssa get away with that? Absolutely, she's an awesome player, but it doesn't mean that she does not have the potential to even get better at what she does. Now, you can see here there's a huge difference between what Alyssa's doing at toe touch and what George is doing at toe touch, okay? You can see here it's very obvious that, again, like I said, she kind of carried her hands with her. She carried the flexion with her where George, he, his flexion was right here, at the apex of the gather and you can see there's been a process that he's transferred his weight like Alyssa did but he left his hands back now back to the reason why I like to see this now when it comes to the area again of learning how to shallow the bat watch what's going on with Alyssa I'm going to go back to this again because she kind of left her hands carried them with her and has too much flexion the tendency is for players to kind of cut across her body because there's just not enough resistance and you can see it here a little bit more clearly where his, her shoulders are here her bat is kind of cutting across her her deltoid right there and her hands have kind of dropped down and this is very common just working with players over the year that do what Alyssa does this is kind of the tendency now watch what George does I'm going to pretty much put him at the same stage of the swing right here and as he starts to swing right here watch how his bat goes around the corner of the deltoid now watch how his bat starts to shallow shallow the bat starts to drop as he starts to get into then the bat is working around the corner of the deltoid now by that I mean this it is very obvious watching George right here that you can see that his hands right now are definitely definitely working around the corner of the deltoid and working in this manner where Alyssa's is kind of cutting across and another thing you're going to see here with George is you can see here that his bat if I draw a line where his bat is right here watch as he continues to swing that his bat is shallowing shallowing this is what you want this creates tremendous bat speed early in your swing where Alyssa her bat her bat speed is going to come a little later now if I go with Alyssa right here if I go one more frame right here you can see here that her hands are, have dropped considerably her elbow is uh, fairly low below the hands and then from here she makes up she does a great job of making up for it and look at this this is beautiful right here now Alyssa this is one of the reasons why she's so amazing she keeps a barrel below the hands she creates tremendous angles but again in order to get this bat speed a little sooner I would do a record and then what George does and again watch what he does right here as he starts to swing and this is one drill that I have that I get in great detail in one of my bonus videos that I do not have on my YouTube channel I, I go into great detail explaining how to apply this correctly watch this this is just beautiful beautiful this is a move that you see with the best elite players in the world that not only hit for average but for hit for power okay so I hope you learned something from this video and again I have a bonus video that gets into great detail on how to do this give me a like if you learn something and again my purpose is always to educate my audience I hope you learned something give me a like if you learn something and please subscribe to my channel have a great day